The mystery that I have, Dr. Pecos, right now is the ability to take mRNA as a sophisticated and successful vaccine to poorer countries. I believe you've told me you're optimistic we can do that. Discuss that. Why aren't we taking things that work and distributing them abroad? Well, right now there's capacity, which is increasing almost on a weekly basis. So we don't really have the, the limitations anymore in terms of we have to make decisions about who's who to prioritize in terms of countries. Um, we have enough of that vaccine to go around. It really is a distribution issue right now, and it really falls into a little bit more of the economic uh, 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 ring um, where you have to decide who's paying for these vaccines and right. how to distribute them and get them to the places that's uh, that's most needed. We mm -hmm. have a surplus here in the U.S. Anybody can walk in and without waiting get a vaccine. Other countries are still waiting to get exactly. any amount to really move things forward. How much does each vaccine cost? I mean, I don't mean country by country, but just I have no idea what it costs to get my booster shot the other day. And no one does, and that's one of the things that is an advantage to us here in the U.S. and in many other countries. But, um, you know, anywhere from 25 to $40 uh, for vaccine dose is what is probably needed to 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 um, uh, to get that distributed, and who's bearing that cost is going to be important. Uh, some of the countries and areas of Africa, some portions of Southeast Asia, um, aren't really getting access to those because they're not competing well right now with some of the more economically forward countries who are able to afford those kind of prices for the vaccines. Uh, doctor, these are huge issues, and at home here in America, we've got to decide whether we need a booster shot or not. Now. I'm happy to say I'm a good boy. I do as I'm told. I'm fully vaccinated. You tell me to get a booster, I'll get one. One thing I'm trying to work out is how well protected I am right now. Fully vaccinated, sir, about five, six months ago. Doctor, how well protected am I at the moment? Do we even know the answer to that? Uh, we do. And, uh, but it's also a graded answer. If you're talking about severe disease and hospitalization, you're probably very well protected because there's been a remarkable consistency in terms of protection of the vaccine in individuals between the ages of 18 and 65 who are healthy and don't have any medical conditions that predispose you to COVID-19. And that's why that population hasn't been targeted for boosters, because honestly, it's not needed right now. The efficacy is there and it's holding well. Yeah. I think what we'll, we'll be, we'll, what we'll be seeing in the next couple months is there will be talk of boosters in a more broad sense, but that's because we're going to be moving from the initial strategy, which was to get as many people vaccinated and get as high in immunity as possible. We're going to be switching from that strategy to what is it going to take for us to have long-term immunity, immunity for two, three years, so that we don't have to worry about taking COVID-19 shots every six months or every year. So that's going to be the yeah. transition for most individuals.